Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the static CMOS style schematic for a master slave JK flip flop. Okay, let's get started. Here on the screen, if you see, I have drawn the gate level diagram of a master slave JK flip flop. It might look very intimidating. We have already studied this in the previous classes. Though it's intimidating, let's understand how do we get this gate level diagram so you don't have to mug up. This is how it is. We have already seen in the JK latch that the first is an AND gate which comprises of three inputs. So let's draw that. This is NAND1 with three inputs, one, two, three. And this is NAND2 with three inputs. We have already seen at that point of time that the inputs were nothing but J, clock or enable. That's correct. And yes, Q bar. Fine. For K or for NAND2, the inputs were K, clock and Q. So this is going to be the first part of my master slave JK flip-flop. Just remember this, then we'll connect all these gates together and we'll get the final diagram. The next is nothing but an SR latch without an enable signal NAND based. So let's quickly draw that. So it was nothing but NAND. It's without enable. So it's nothing but a cross coupled circuit input. This is how it's going to be. And this output will go here. And this is my second input. So this is part one of my diagram. This is part two of my diagram. Now let's do part three of my diagram. It's nothing but SR latch with enable signal, which is nothing but NAND again, NAND again, followed by another NAND followed by another NAND, where this is one input. This is nothing but clock or enable, whatever you want to call it. This is another input. The output goes here, the output goes here. And the second input is nothing but the output from here. Same is the case with this NAND also. So this is nothing but my SR latch with enable signal. So with this, we are all set. Let's understand how. This is my first stage. So output of my first stage will go to my second stage input. And this, let's call this X and this call this Y. So this is connected to X and Y. So when you draw this three together, this is what you get. This is your first stage here. This is your second stage here. And this is your final stage here. So that gives you the gate level diagram. So there's nothing to mug up. It's with clear understanding. In the previous clips, we have also seen that the latch differs from a flip flop where there are two latches or there are a combination of latches connected where one latch or where one part of the circuit operates on clock, then the other part operates on the opposite polarity of clock. See, if we do this, we get a flip flop. Again, if you see the circuit, we are able to achieve that as well. If you see properly, my clock is going to my NAND1 and NAND2, whereas this is nothing but a NAND based inverter. For simplicity, I'll draw an inverter only. Whereas clock bar is going to NAND5 and NAND6. 